Hey guys, welcome to Jacking Cars. Today, I bring you a full review of this 2018 GMC Sierra Denali HD Diesel. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos. Here is the key fob to the Denali. As you can see, it's a high quality Denali key fob. Unlock, lock. This is your remote start and our panic button. Demonstrate remote start real quick. Lock the car. Hold this button down. Starts right up, and then to turn it off, just push it. Go ahead and take a walk around the Denali. We do have these 20 inch chrome reels, wheels wrapped in 295-65 20s and our Denali HD badge. This one does have aftermarket power deployable running boards as well and a aftermarket front bumper. Does take diesel obviously. Under the hood is a 6.6 .6 liter Duramax diesel engine with 445 horsepower and 910 foot-pounds of torque. Got our Sierra badge and our Denali badge, as well as our GMC badge. And our backup camera. As you can see, opens really nicely. Do have a gooseneck hitch, that one's aftermarket. Got plenty of trunk space bed space I should say and the tailgate is really easy to close we do have steps on both sides of the bumper and our exhaust down below beautiful truck this one is the long bed version do have these enormous chrome towing mirrors with LED blinkers within them And you've got this monster aftermarket front bumper. It is truly huge. You've got aftermarket LED lights and factory LED lights and blinkers, fog lights down below. This one's got a winch as well and tow hooks. Go and take a look at the interior of the Denali. The step is currently broken, so I apologize black leather interior okay Grab the keys since it's a diesel you gotta wait to start especially when it's cold to have a Denali badge as well this one's got 17,143 miles. So you got your trip, trip B, fuel range, tells you Wi-Fi, oil left, oil life, and timer, filter life, fuel filter, diesel exhaust fluid, back to miles per hour. Tachometer on the left, speedometer, and then you got your oil pressure, engine temperature, and your fuel and voltage. Over here, you got your cruise control settings with forward collision warning um, assist, heated steering wheel, voice command, and call. This adjusts the instrument panel. Got vents as well. Got your radio. This because I want more information out there. As well, you got phones, and you got your navigation and text messages. You got OnStar text weather settings. As you can see you got all sorts of settings. You got your eject button, radio, media, back menu and automatic climate control heated and cooled seats recirculation for air you got your pedal adjustments traction control off bed lighting lane keep assist uh, hill descent control and your exhaust brake USBs and you got two 12 volt power outlets and an outlet 
lots of storage, nice cup holders, and you got a huge center console. And you got two glove boxes. And you got your rear view mirror as well as your sunglass holder. Garage home link, power sunroof. As well. And you got your transmission with tow haul mode. And over here you do have your headlight and fog light controls to push on the fog light, just push that button. And then you got your four wheel drive controls as well. And you got your towing brake assist as well. And this turns on the aftermarket LED headlights. And this turns up and down the brightness of the instrument panel when the headlights are on. And you got your child lock, as well as window lock, and all windows are automatic. Power folding mirrors, power door locks, mirror adjustments. And you got your parking brake down below, as well as a Bose sound system. Go ahead and turn on the headlights and the hazards. Take a look at the outside. I guess the running board did want to come out. <laughs> Power seat adjustments with recurring lumbar, obviously. And the Denali badge encrusted into the headrest. LED blinkers, running lights, pretty cool truck. This one's got WeatherTech floor mats. I'm going to shut her down. Let's go ahead and take a look at the back seat and the rest of the truck. Plenty of space back here. And also, got storage on both sides. This one does also have DVD players. This was a storage pocket, more storage, 12 volt power outlet, and a more storage down below. I'm surprised this doesn't have a tri-zone climate control. It's only dual zone. Cup holders. Lots of storage in the door panel. Steps are very useful, and a tow hitch, obviously. And you've got your trailer electrical ports, four pin and seven pin, I believe. Lots of storage. USB ports in here, and you can pull this out and adjust for best viewing angle. Handle on both sides, and dome lighting. You got your wireless charging port. Airbag as well. More vents. Vanity mirror. And your other handle as well.
Denali skid plates, and same adjustment as the driver's side. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this full review of this 2018 GMC Sierra Denali Duramax. Thanks so much for watching you guys. Please like and subscribe for more videos. See you in the next video guys. Have a great day.